Hey gang, Chris here, coming to you from my office, aka my room, and I want to introduce you to a new and useful tool that we'll be using as a band. Too often we have been on different pages as a team, whether that's with chord changes or dynamic changes, uh, or whatever it may be. Uh, and I think that this new app that I'll be introducing can help us grow more together as a team, be on, on page, uh, on the same page together. Um, it's called Music Stand, and it is developed by Planning Center, the same people who developed our you know, scheduling and planning service that we use, the green app that you get invites from every month that I bug you uh, to accept or decline. Um, so yeah, now let's, uh, let's take a look inside the system and I'll show you the ropes. So here we are in one of the church's iPads, and I'm going to pop into the Music Stand app. When we're in here, we'll want to use the hamburger menu in the top left corner to pull up our service plans. Uh, and just I'll just go with this upcoming weekend, February 14th. Just by clicking on this first song, I can pull up the chord chart and sift through all the pages of all the song files. I won't just be in one song um, or one page, and I can go through all of them at one time. Um, another really great feature is the ability to have a metronome um, if you just press the top right corner and you can practice along um, when you're at home. Um, and there's ability to um, enable a flash um, uh, sort of capability, I guess, uh, if you so desire. Um, but the best feature, uh, I think, is the ability to take notes. Um, you can write uh, hello, uh, you can highlight something that's really important, um, you can erase by using sort of a corner drag feature, um, and now I'm British, hello. Um, or you can, if you want a cleaner look, you can type some notes. So I'll just type build here. Um, and okay, maybe I feel like that's a little bit too small, and I can go back in and make it as big as I want to, um, bring it back down to size, um, I can change the color um, after I go back in there. Maybe I want something a little bit brighter than, than black. Um, and you can see if I slide through the rest of the chord charts, that is the only place that I have notes currently. So maybe you want to erase your notes, but you want to do it on just a page or just a particular chord chart. If you erase them, will it be done in all the entire file, all the core charts that are, can you do it page by page? So that's what I'm gonna go into now. So I'll, I'll write build on, on one page and one core chart, another page in the same uh, chord chart, um, and a page in another chord chart. And um, so I'll just write build on the first page of Only a Holy God, the first page of King of Kings, and the third page of Only a Holy God, and see what we can, see what we can do. So I'm going to clear everything from just this page of this one and you can see that it's still on king of kings and still on only holy god so this time i cleared the entire attachment everything from this attachment this specific chord chart is gone and but there's still that one left on king of kings and so that time i cleared the entire attachment there and everything is cleared out and i lied earlier when i said that the notes is my favorite uh, part this is actually my favorite part so I can start a new session here so I've started a session um, and I'm actually going to go over and use my phone right now and pull up this thing and there you see my phone pop up here on my iPad so I've started a session and I've connected to my phone um, and now I'm going to switch over to my phone screen and show you what is happening so on my phone, instead of starting a session, I connect to a session, connect to Justin's iPad, um, and now everything that you see on my phone screen is actually being controlled by the iPad. So here, a chord chart is pulled up from the iPad, switching pages on the iPad. I'm not touching my phone at all as I'm doing this, and I'm able to switch all the way through um, all these chord charts, go back and forth. Um, and so this is a really unique ability to connect. Um, and I'm actually going to switch the ownership to of the session to the phone. And so now I'll pull it up. I'm switching it here on my phone, but switching on the iPad. So it's just a unique, um, cool tool to use uh, so that we can all be on the same page um, and, and connecting to the same device, being on the same um, chord chart. Well, gang, that was the Music Stand app by Planning Center. I hope this was helpful and I look forward to introducing it and using it as a band as we grow and serve together.